Old folks love it, and used car dealers won't refuse one if it shows up at their lot, such is the appeal of the Toyota Vios for generations. But in recent years, it just doesn't feel quite up there with the Honda City. However, with this 2019 facelifted model, it seems that the Vios can once again win the hearts of Malaysians. This car review episode is powered by the all-new Petronas Premax 95 with Pro Drive. For many years, there's only two reasons why one would buy a Vios. Reliability and resale value. Because just look at them, they're just plain and boring. Especially the second generation Dugong face. Fast forward to 2013 and Toyota was onto something with the third generation Vios. A bit sportier, a little bit more muscular. But by then, the sixth generation Honda City with its slick design and superior packaging has left the Vios to eat its dust. You can see why college students prefer the City over the Vios. And now UMW Toyota Motor has came out with this 2019 facelifted model which I think is the most attractive Vios they've made yet. The exterior design is essentially the Yaris Atif that our friends over in Thailand and Singapore are getting. While some of you may have strong opinions on how the car looks, I personally think this design is growing on me. The contrasting bits on the grille and lower bumper gives the car a distinct look on the road, which is quite nice. The five-piece aero kit, which is standard across the range, also shows that UMW Toyota Moto understands its target market very well. Buyers want a sporty-looking sedan. If there's one thing I would change are these plastic fog lamp housings. Maybe have it in a gloss black finish like the Yaris. This particular unit is tinted with the Toyota Solar and Security Film a genuine Toyota accessory that you can order from the factory. The 16-inch alloys look decent, not much to shout about, but I want to draw your attention to the tyres fitted on this car. They measure 195.50 in profile. While other manufacturers fit their cars with 175 or 185 rubbers, I really appreciate that UMW Toyota Motor has chosen 195 to be fitted onto the Vios. I will touch on how that affects the car's dynamics in a later segment. The rear profile has got to be my favourite angle of the car. It looks well proportioned and these LED combination tail lamps makes it look like a C segment rather than a B segment. Boot space is not the largest in class but it can still house 506 litres worth of stuff and that's with a full size spare wheel inside. Say what you want about the Toyota brand, but there's no denying that Toyota has some of the most well-built cabin in the business. And this facelifted Vios which is locally assembled here at UNW Toyota Motors' new Bukit Raja plant is no different. There are no weird seams or gaps anywhere and I can't even find a single loose panel in here. I really like this new cabin architecture with a black theme separated by these silver trims here and a piano black trim that houses the touchscreen infotainment system and automatic climate control. Also new is this Optitron instrument cluster with a coloured TFT multi-info display which gives the car a more upmarket feel. Other new and welcome additions include this multifunctional steering wheel with pedal shifters which is exclusive to this G variant, automatic dimming rear view mirror, and a drive mode selector switch. Unfortunately, cubby spaces in here is quite tiny. You can't fit a water bottle like this, only a small one like so. You got two on the centre console and one more on the side door bin. You do have a few places to store your phone, such as one on the side door bins and one more down here. One thing I noticed about the seats is although they are finished in leather, there's this one small part here is finished in fabric. I wonder what's up with that. But my biggest gripe with this cabin is this touchscreen infotainment system. I had a little play with it and I think that the user interface is quite bad. The graphics is not as crisp as other main rivals and it doesn't even come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Come on Toyota, do something about this. The back seats of the Vios is a fantastic place to be in. A decent amount of headroom and knee room is a plenty. But what's most impressive is the seating sculpture. I have plenty of support for my back and thighs for a comfortable journey. Also, I have a lot of room not just on the footwell, but also space for me to rest my legs under the front seats. Other amenities back here include this Tetaric hook, two USB charging ports, and a center armrest with two cup holders. Unfortunately, you still don't get rear air vents. Beyond its controversial styling, refreshed interior and massively upgraded features, Toyota has done a lot of work to the car's chassis for a more sophisticated ride and handling. 
There are now more sport welding points in and around the car as well as a reinforced underbody which gives the car higher torsional rigidity. Spring rates and damper rates have also been revised for better damping. Toyota claims that they've not only benchmarked this facelifted Vios against the 6th gen city, but also C-segment sedans like its very own Altis. And you can tell that they've done a fantastic job the moment you start cruising on the highway. The revised suspensions iron out undulations even more delicately now, and the pre-facelift Vios already has really good damping characteristics. The stiffer torsional rigidity can be felt through the bends where the car is a lot more poised and doesn't feel like a hollow tin when you're taking corners. As I've mentioned earlier, the 19550 profile rubbers really help with the car's high speed stability. At triple digit speeds, the car sits confidently to the road and doesn't wallow about. I much prefer this kind of setup rather than cars with narrow tyres, sacrificing stability for fuel economy. Insulation is also a step up from before with minimal wind and road noise. Engine and transmission noise is also better suppressed. The refinement and poise of this facelifted Vios and I'm not trying to exaggerate one bit, feels like I'm driving something from a C segment rather than a B segment. And that is exactly what consumers are looking for, a sedan that can wear multiple hats. Easy to drive in a city, comfortable for long distance journeys, and can fit the family comfortably. So kudos to Toyota's benchmarking exercise. Very well done. Engine and transmission setup is carried over from before, a 2NR FE 1.5 litre dual VVTi engine paired to a CVT with 7 virtual ratios, making 107 horsepower and 140 Nm of torque to drive the front wheels. Like the improved ride and handling, Toyota has also recalibrated the powertrain for a more refined driving experience. As I've learned from Toyota engineers, comfort and refinement is the name of the game here. The CVT has been tuned for a more direct and linear throttle response which makes city driving a more relaxed affair because you don't have to go mashing the throttle to get the car moving. At speeds, the more direct throttle response really helps with overtaking manoeuvres. The CVT also takes advantage of the engine's eagerness to rev and will not hesitate to jump into a high RPM zone. There's also pedal shifters and sport mode to play with if you feel like it. Although I find it quite cute that the sport mode shares the same green font colour as Eco. Once you're done overtaking and you dial down to a cruise, the transmission is virtually muted. Maintaining at a low RPM while still keeping pace really helps with the car's overall refinement. Is it the best CVT out there? I wouldn't say so, but it's the best one they've fitted onto a Vios yet. Only on this range-topping G-Spec variant you get rear disc brakes, and the stopping power it offers is the most confidence-inspiring one in the segment. No matter the speed, pedal pressure is firm, and the calipers anchors down the car without hesitation. It is also extremely easy to modulate whether you're in stop-and-go traffic or slowing down for a bend. As standard, you get 7 airbags, electronic stability control, and heel start assist. That itself is already quite a comprehensive list. Stepping up to the more expensive variants, you get a front digital recorder, which is a dash cam, 360 degree panoramic view monitor, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, and on this G spec, you also get dual front parking sensors. With this comprehensive list of safety features, you can tell that UMW Toyota Moto is working hard to promote safer cars for all, and that is something I really, really appreciate. The facelifted Vios is a really competent product, but underneath all these fluff, what I see is somewhat of a dated car. Don't get me wrong, most of the things in here are new and feels new. It's just some of the parts tells a different story. For starters, the steering wheel doesn't come with telescopic adjustment for reach. Now, in a car that predates 2010, this is acceptable. But for a model that was launched in 2013 and subsequently given a major facelift in 2019, I expected telescopic adjustment to be a given. For most users, it wouldn't bother them. But given the sporty image Toyota is trying to portray, telescopic adjustment is very important to get that ideal driving position. Next, there is no proper footrest. I mean, there's an indentation, but I would be hard pressed to call that a footrest. Again, it reminds me of an old budget sedan. Lastly, display brightness. It can be adjusted independently for the Optitron instrument cluster and touchscreen infotainment system, but the backlight on the rest of the cabin can't be altered. Not a problem at all, but what it tells me is that the new systems are not seamlessly integrated to the existing hardware. In all fairness, those were just my observations and nitpicking with the facelifted Vios. What I've mentioned may matter to some of you, 
but for the majority of the buyers, they won't even notice them, and that's fine. The bigger picture is that the improvements and refinements Toyota has done to the facelifted Vios has made this car a very strong contender in the B-segment sedan space. So, is this car for you? Well, if you're looking for a comfortable, spacious and practical family sedan, this should be right at the top of your list. But if you're looking for something more dynamically capable and sharper to drive at the limit, then probably not. For more information of the facelifted Toyota Vios, do log on to odobus.my. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Click on the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Adrian and see you guys in the next one. This car review episode is powered by the all-new Petronas Premax 95 with Pro Drive. Move like never before. Put on your seat belts, kids. We're going for a ride. Yes. This Juma is history inside the dungeon. We. That was fun. And practical family sedan. This Honda. This Honda City, blah.